You see you, baby. What is smart irrigation? In simplest terms, I'd say designing a landscape with minimal water need and then irrigating accordingly. In terms of technology, a device that integrates weather or soil conditions or both into irrigation scheduling. Smart irrigation is proven to reduce water use. And in Miami-Dade County, we have rebates to help facilitate these changes. Nevertheless, not everyone is ready to play ball. Let's talk to some of the finest water management minds in the country to better understand what smart irrigation is all about. Smart irrigation to me is mostly about technology. Today, there are many new uh, products coming to market that are just boxes. They don't have any dials, they don't have any buttons. Everything happens on your phone, on the iPad, or on the computer. A lot of technology today is rear facing as, uh, from uh, evapotranspiration. What happened yesterday as far as the wind, the sun, and the rain? Uh, I think going forward that people will start looking at, okay, if there is a uh, a chance of rain tomorrow and that chance of rain is greater than 85 percent then maybe push my irrigation back a day so we'll start looking less in the in the reverse and more into the future as far as and what is happening right now I'd say smart irrigation is trying to come as close as you can to meeting the plants needs and in a lot of cases we're doing this with some some pretty stellar technologies but uh, really the challenge now is the human element, getting the users of those technologies to understand how the water and the plants are interacting and the role the technology plays and, and their role as users. We think that smart irrigation really needs to be intuitive and user friendly. So basically anyone who can use a smartphone um, would be able to use our products. And that's what really makes something smart is if it's accessible to everyone and not um, you know, requiring a lot of additional training. What is smart irrigation? Well, um, to me and to the Toro Company, it's all about reducing water waste. It's about improving irrigation efficiency. So a smart nozzle, for example, would be a nozzle that uh, applies the water more evenly than conventional nozzles, applies the water more slowly so we have no runoff. So in every product category, nozzles, valves, sprays, it's about doing a job better, doing the irrigation job better. Most irrigators know that most of the landscapes are, are overwatered, and at least the smart irrigation tries to tone that in and give a little bit more um, kind of education to the public on what's correct for that plant. We provide basically data to provide uh, information to the right people at the right time. So smart irrigation used to be about putting the right amount of water um, on the plants at the right time. But really now it's bringing the right data to the right people at the right time. And that's how we define smart irrigation. Smart irrigation is uh, using technology to make informed decisions on irrigation scheduling. Um, it should be done uh, in conjunction with technology and the person, both of them have to work together for it to really be smart. More importantly, after we have the products, I think the manufacturers are doing a great job at developing the products. What's going to happen next is we have to teach the contractors, we have to develop uh, contractor education programs so that they know how to install and maintain the products correctly. So it becomes education and process in, in, in conjunction with the uh, technology. And then finally, I think what it's really going to take to have truly smart irrigation is going to be partnerships. And these partnerships are going to be between the manufacturers, the people uh, installing the equipment and maintaining it and using it after, as well as the water agencies and the government. And when all this comes together, I think we'll really create some synergy needed where we can say we're actually uh, managing our water in the most smart, efficient way possible. In my mind, I think of smart irrigation as a practice that is, uh, has some automated uh, ability built into it, like a soil moisture sensor, senses moisture in the soil uh, based on plants withdrawing moisture and rainfall adding moisture to the soil, so it regulates itself. Same way with ET controllers, they estimate ET and then they automatically regulate the irrigation system in response to environmental demand. So that's what I think of when I think of smart irrigation. With WaterSense, we try and identify products that help people do uh, implement smart irrigation in their homes and in their businesses. And we look at 
systems or technologies that sort of provide that information about all of those things to the consumer or to the um, facility manager so that they can then implement a better uh, irrigation system. I teach at Cal Poly State University and I, I focus on actually getting students to understand what it means to have uh, smart irrigation. So we focus on uh, maximizing distribution uniformity, uh, minimizing losses, and uh, really focusing on having good timing. Good timing is whenever you know you, you put on the exact amount of water they need when the plant needs it. What I do, codes and standards, I'm an advocate for efficient irrigation. I promote that. And one of the ways to promote efficient irrigation is the use of technology and, uh, and people who are really informed, trained, and have some credentials there that says, yeah, I know what I'm doing. So smart irrigation really is a combination of good products and people working together and delivering a result. Funding for the Urban Conservation is provided by Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department. Hey, do you want to be interviewed?